We appreciate your cooperation and understanding during this unprecedented time. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some precedented times. Back at Universal. Now, as you know, there's stuff going on. Kind of Halloween Horror Nights related? I don't really know. There's something here at Cafe La Bamba restaurant. It said a pumpkin bar. I don't know what that is. I need to go check this out. This, I'm sure it's been all over online. I'm just out of the loop. You know, it's been a great day so far. Not much, just uh, Jason Bourne. Okay. Checking out what this is. Fun. Yeah, it was. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. you enjoy whatever is inside of there. I have no idea what's in there. Oh, it's going to be a surprise for everybody. <laughs> okay, so the pumpkin bar is like a, I guess, Halloween themed snack bar? All right, let's see what they have. All right, so here are some of the things they offer. A bloody charred skewer, s'more fries, shrimp cocktail. I guess that's the s'mores right there. That looks pretty cool. So if you want a snack, you can get one, but they also have a bar on the inside of this walkthrough experience. And I did ask, I am allowed to record in here. Oh, wow. Here's some of the drinks they offer. A circus peanut, a mango inferno, and a loop guru. So the walkthrough is really, really short, apparently. So that uh, pumpkin walkthrough bar, uh, they had three drinks, the, uh, the circus peanut, the mango inferno, and the, uh, the other one. Uh, it, was, it was a very short walkthrough experience where you just look at some decoration. It was very short, very, very short. Um, after hearing what was involved in the drinks, I decided to just go with the circus peanut, which is a rum drink, and you can see it's got a actual circus peanut in there. Um, Okay, sure. All right, so right now I'm in line for crepes. I actually haven't had the crepes ever here. This, that's gonna be new for me. All right, I finished my rum drink, the uh, circus peanut. It was pretty good. I remember the little circus peanut thing they give you. It's like a giant marshmallow and it tastes like garbage. But the drink itself was good. I got out of line for the uh, the crepes because after 20 minutes of not moving I can't go any further okay I gotta backtrack yeah after 20 minutes of, of just waiting I didn't move at all and I'm not needing crepes that bad never had them before it would have been nice oh well there's other stuff I could snack on all right I, oh god what is this music blasting so oh Barney's over there that's what that is all right uh, I'm gonna do ET because I recently just got some Scented candles are supposed to smell like the queue line in the forest. So let's figure out if that's really what the smell I got. It's a nice candle, so I'm gonna keep it either way. And once again, it's a walk on ET. All right, so the smell, of course, I've been smelling my own mask for the last several hours, but I, I don't really smell it doesn't smell the same, but uh, there, this queue line has a particular odor to it. Not really a musty smell, but I guess like an artificial mustiness to it. Combination with a pine smell. It's really cool. It's really unique smell. And there's, you know, there's all kinds of stories about the smell of this ride. All right, so this is something I didn't know about beforehand. There's doing a uh, scavenger hunt type of deal where you go into different shops and you get... So if you go into the different shops, they'll stamp this for you. And once you get, I guess, all 13, I'm not sure if you have to get these last two as well. Uh, we'll find out. But you get like a sampler candy grab bag thing? I don't, well, the next one is the uh, custom gear in the San Francisco Candy Factory, which is right around the corner, right over here somewhere. So let's get these stamps and let's see what we get out of it. This isn't something I've seen announced anywhere or I haven't seen anybody on Twitter talking about it, so it's all completely brand new. Oh, here we go. Number six on our list, custom gear. 
and right across the quote unquote street from Custom Gear is the San Francisco candy shop. You got two stamps in there. So let's, gonna, this is actually one of the, uh, the candy shop here is one of the two turn in places once you get the card completed. So they tell me that these last stamps with the hats, that's actually uh, one of the two places where you turn in the completed form. So next up is Rosie's Irish Shop. I'm gonna guess that's over by Finnegan's someplace. Yeah, it looks like it's straight ahead. I think, whoa, the fountain show's going on. Cool. Now it's kind of funny about this uh, scavenger hunt. I had team members asking me about it because I don't think a lot of people knew about it. Um, I, like I said, I didn't find anything online regarding it, but uh, yeah, I, this is one of those funny scenarios where nobody seems to know what's going on, but hey, let's have some fun with it. All right, here's Rosie's. All right, next up is Sahara Traders, and I think that's right, right here, right next to the mummy. One thing I haven't done in a while is, I haven't been to the Tribute Store since they started offering snacks. And I wonder how big of a line we have. The line's not that bad, we can do this. Okay, that's new. That was not there before. Okay, oh, this is what I've been looking to do. Oh, what, so, what do we got? Oh. Get ourselves a Frankie. Previously, this was the last stop in the room. And you just make your purchase and leave. Now they've added some stuff. Let's move on and see what else there is. Alright, this is cool. If you didn't know, there used to be a Bates house and a Bates motel on site at Universal. And it was so realistic looking that they used it in Psycho 4. Little fun fact for you. Uh, how do they do that? That's not a light effect, they're actually bubbling. How do they do that? Alright, that's some of the uh, non bakery stuff they have. And here is the sweet stuff. Check out this Halloween cake. That's funny. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Cookie dough cup sounds pretty good. Ooh, they have they have donuts and vegan vegan stuff as well. I'm actually gonna pass on the sweets for right now. There's only so much I can have in a day, and I don't want to. Just get something just for getting it. Ooh. Oh, look at that. These, yeah, these are shirts. <laughs> Design your own shirt. Look at this lunchbox. Oh my god. That's a lunchbox. I want. How much do they want? $25? I, I might have to get this. Look at this railing. Oh, hey. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Dante's. <laughs> oh.
And now these rails caught my attention as I was coming, actually heading into, and there is something special going on that apparently is only for Premier Pass holders. So this is what's going on. So I just met up with uh, Chris and Susan from Ear to Ear Magic, and they were telling, they are Premier Pass holders, and that is something that is open for, well, you had to reserve it on like Wednesday. And today only, it's for Premier Pass holders for that reservation. And then after that, Saturday and Sunday, is uh, anybody can get in. Now, Saturday and Sunday is kind of like a trial thing. And after that, they're gonna see if it's successful, if it works, if, I mean, the place is gonna be packed like crazy. But if it goes good, they're gonna do it every weekend until Halloween. Um, that kind of stinks for me, because I can't get here on the weekends. I'm gonna try, I'll try. I'll try. All right, here is the other haunted house they're doing, the Bride of Frankenstein. All the scare actors are behind plexiglass, and it's a it's a different experience if you're expecting like a traditional Halloween Horror Nights experience altogether. So here I am trying to avoid sugar, and I got myself a uh, fried dough with powdered sugar. It's fried chicken and waffle, basically. Uh, it looks really good. I can't wait to I'm, I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm starving All right, look at it. I got 12 stamps just one more here at the main store and then I go right next door to uh, that number two studio suites and I get my free candy Yeah All right, so check it one two three four whatever uh, 13 and uh, studio suites and my payoff for all this was um, something with 120 calories. So, yep, that's the that's the payoff for the scavenger hunt. There you go. So this is something really cool I forgot to point out. Earlier today, when I went and did this, uh, the Born Stuntacular, at some point where uh, the helicopter scene, the video froze. And the whole thing was the, um, the set piece had, I guess, lost its uh, tracking and they decided to just pause the whole thing right then and there. It was really cool seeing them come out and reset the set piece so it can get back into position. Uh, they just basically manually brought it back and then they just restarted the uh, the show. It was it was really cool to see firsthand. I really really like these Beetlejuice masks, but they're all in medium. If I can find a large, I want to grab it because the mallards are really comfortable for me. So guys, I avoided the rain, unbelievably, and I got myself a good amount of swag. You'll probably see that on an edition of uh, Monday Munda. Muggin Mondays, that's what it's called, yeah. I don't even know the name of my own show. So yeah, do the, the like and the subscribe thing. I'll be eternally grateful. Uh, yeah, so Halloween Horror Nights, I'll, uh, I'll probably go into discussion about that. But that's it, guys. That is gonna do it for my trip to Universal this time around. And you know what, just for old time's sakes, I'll go back to the, uh, this was the greatest vacation of 2020. We'll never speak of it again. <laughs>